Hello and welcome to Man Plays Game. I chose five early access or newly released titles that were under five bucks and I played them all to let you know which new affordable indie games I consider a play or pass. So first up is... Mahasona, The Guardian of the Graveyard by Ram Studios in Sri Lanka. A more PG version of Dead by Daylight, Mahasona has the potential to be a really good multiplayer. There aren't a lot of folks playing because it's new, but if you have a couple of friends, you could definitely have some fun. In the game, Mahasona must protect ancient artifacts from a group of children. The kids must survive the night and collect all four artifacts before daybreak. The kids have different stats, so there's a fighter, a seeker, a runner, and a tank. They all can turn into random objects to hide, and they can all kill the Mahasona, forcing it to reappear somewhere else on the map. If a kid gets killed, it becomes a skeleton helper to the demon. As more kids die, the difficulty greatly increases, making each round pretty dynamic. All in all, the controls are solid and the look of the game is fine. The sound design was very well done. Using surround sound headphones, I was able to pinpoint where the other players were. While it is a very new title and there aren't many players, if you have enough friends, you can each get a copy for a grand total of around 20 bucks, and you can have a lot of fun. It is a play. Next is Arog, from Leap Studios in Peru. Classified as a puzzle game, I would say Arog has some slight puzzle elements, but it's not really a challenging puzzler. This I assume is by design, because the illustrations by Hermanos Magia that comprise the game's visuals seem to be the main draw. The themes of this game deal with life, death, and rebirth, and as you progress through these beautiful and cryptic scenes, you see different parts of the Peruvian culture, such as the hunter's relationship with Capybara and certain funeral rites. The game is beautiful and memorable, but ultimately it's a 30 minute playthrough with no replayability. If you want to experience a well-crafted visual story and have three bucks to spare, this game will leave a mark. For me, it's a play. The third game I played was This Game Might Improve Your Memory by Harrison Mansolf. Ironically, I have trouble remembering the correct title of this game. This is a point-and-click adventure that is supposed to serve as an edutainment, teaching memory techniques and incorporating them into the game. And while there are memory mechanics in the game, I found them repetitive to the point of annoyance. A quick example would be that you have to memorize the serial number on a dollar before you can spend it. What is confusing is that you don't actually have to remember the number, it's actually a mini-game where you solve a code with the key right beneath it. This reduces the difficulty dramatically. In fact, the only challenge I found in the game came from the cumbersome menus and tedious world navigation. The main issue for me, though, is that I can't tell who this game was made for. The methodical and patient nature of a point-and-click adventure, along with the dated resolution, seems geared for an older audience, while the writing seemed geared more towards teenage boys. Using curse words to make the story feel more adult and the plot being a meandering horror story makes the whole thing feel sophomoric. Expecting a teenager to have the patience to get through this game is as unrealistic as expecting an adult to be entertained by the fart jokes, nut shots, and half-baked plot. I got through the whole thing and I will tell you now the story does not resolve in any way. It was unrewarding for the time I put in and while there are other things I could say about this game, honestly, I would rather forget it. I dislike doing this to a self-published game, but I have to stick to my guns. You could skip the $5 fee on this one. Pass. Next, I played The Last Survey by Nicholas O'Brien. The Last Survey is a playable essay, shedding light on the real-life issue of our dwindling rare metal resources and the corporate response. As you click through the narration and dialogue, you are experiencing an experimental soundtrack by Louis Kopenhofer. Using glass, wood, and metal percussion with low synth, it really boosted parts of the narrative but some of the transitions from one song to another kind of got distracting. The visuals morph to match the written narration. While a good idea, it sometimes distracts from reading, or vice versa. After playing the story once, you can replay it, choosing to say different dialogue, getting different responses. Two playthroughs ran about an hour and 20 minutes, and the story was definitely educational and humbling considering the medals used to make my PC are the very same medals in discussion. I would recommend this as an artistic experience, the message accompanied by morphing hand-drawn visuals and surreal score, while still giving the audience a small amount of autonomy, makes this a nice get for $5. I say it's a play. Last, but not least, is Geometric Sniper by Yas Studios in Brazil. This game was the most surprising to me. This early access title is a wonderful blend of Where's Waldo and a Sniper Simulator. The civilians are randomly generated and some are very similar in appearance to your target. 
Having a limited view through the scope ups the difficulty and the reward for finding your target. The controls are simple and responsive, the variety in the levels and objectives is great, and the replayability is solid because of the online score ranking, and I also found myself enjoying the game's find mode, where the goal is to find hidden objects throughout the level while you race the clock. I thoroughly enjoyed this title, and for $2, it is an absolute must-buy. Play. Well, that was five games. Four plays and one pass. Not really what I expected on my first time doing this, but it is a pleasant surprise to be sure. Which of these five did you think looked the coolest? Did you play any of them? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and take care.